six fucking cold. Sorry. I'm just like. Bum, bum, bum. Let's start this episode, shall we? Hi, hi, hi. Mission's distinctive up and down sa- noise, voice, why can I read? Uh, sounds muffled through the door. She bursts in a second later. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, right. They had like a fight or some stupid shit. Chan, you're here too. Yeah. Two. How did you know that there was already someone in here? If it opens, someone's inside. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Am I interrupting? Yes, you are. Fucking leave. She's in a shakes her head. Great, it's really great, but I-, I was sure I would be. Is this a break? I thought so too, but it turns out everything uh, city council related is over uh, for now. Is that why you're uh, here? <laughs> yeah, that's right, Kachan. Sorry to disappoint you, but we were just discussing whether or not to order out for dinner. That sounds fun. Shizune isn't being very fun about it, uh, though. She says that she can't order food two days in a row. Are you hungry too? Because if you are, we can outvote her. Hmm. That does sound fun, Chan. And I am a little hungry. I thought you would say it sounds like mutiny. Shizune pitches a frame of her glasses, clearly thinking that it does seem like mutiny, but being outvoted by a clean 2 to 1 margin, there's nothing she can do. Mishas already has her phone out. It's awfully. Oh my god, that coffee is fucking me up. Garish. I gotta just stop drinking coffee. So, Chan, you promised me we would have a city council thing just for us, right? Right? This can be it. You want me to get the fuck out? I'll get the fuck out. I don't have a problem with that. But you... F- miss his fucking weird finger over here. Fuck you. Shizune only shakes her head. The last party she will be able to attend as Yamako's Student Council President is too special to her to put that label on our spur of the moment early dinner. Even though I'm sure the real thing will be just like this, a meal like any other with the three of us. What? After we finish eating and clean up, I say goodbye to them and head to my dorm. Although I don't feel particularly tired, I think I'll just go straight to sleep tonight. If I were back home, my mom would nag me not to go out of bed right after eating, but what she doesn't know won't hurt her. I take a look at my clock as soon as I get in. I realize it's a lot later than I thought. It also feels a bit silly checking the clock when I have a phone and a wristwatch. I take off my watch. Why? You could do whatever the fuck you want. Why do you have... I, I have too much issues with this house, so I'm gonna stop. Okay? That's all. That's all. That's all happened. That's it. Uh, and I hold it in one hand. While holding my phone in the other, it makes me feel very powerful and stupid. I... Who the fuck knocking on my goddamn door so loud and this fucking late? I try unsuccessfully, um... Whoa, wait, what? I try to suggest to go to sleep, but I'm glad when someone interrupts me by knocking on the door after only a few minutes. I figured that it couldn't be anyone but Kenji, which is why I'm surprised when it ends up being Misha. Hi, Chan. You don't look happy to see me. No, I, 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 I'm I, sorry. I'm just kind of surprised. Does Shizune remember something that she wants me to do after all? It's late, but whatever. I guess it's good I didn't change. Nope, I just thought I'd follow you back, Chan. Is this the episode? Is this the episode, folks? That I'm sure I'll use a clickbait title for. Possibly a clickbait um thumbnail. I don't know. Kinda want to. Kinda really want to. But should I? Here's what I'm gonna do. Some of you are gonna know exactly what's about to go down. Some of you fucking are gonna be like what the fuck's going on i'm gonna save so don't mind me um the oldest one De- december we'll save december <laughs> uh yes uh can i name that by any chance no i just gotta remember that's the one okay <sighs> okay 
Here we go. Nope, I just thought I'd follow you back, Chen. For fun? No, of course not, fucking idiot. It's because she wants to talk, and it must be about something very important, um, something that she doesn't want Shizune to know about. Do you want to come in? Yeah, thanks, Chen. The perv in me is thinking all kinds of things, right? But that can't be going down. This is fucking Gatsuma Shoujo. She walks in and immediately takes a seat in the chair. The natural thing to do, but I'd expect her to sit on the bed? Hey, Chan. Misha frowns harshly, arms folded over her chest, and it's like she's trying to play a grim interrogator. All that's missing is that uh, mustache and the dangling, flickering light bulb on a string. What? Oh, I don't know why I picture like the mustache villain shit. I don't know. Weird. Did you make Sachan sad? What? Why did I? Why? No? What do you mean? When I went to the office today, Sachan couldn't hear me coming. That's why when I opened the door, I saw a really confusing expression on her face. Sachan looked happy and uh, sad, and I wanted to know why. What's with this music, though? Hold up. fucking serious how loud is it because if it's louder than me I'm gonna be fucking mad weird well it wasn't because of me I didn't even see it I think she's depressed that she won't be a student council president anymore in a few months hmm when I asked the chat about it she said it was okay okay that's cool but when I spoke to her she was like nah it's kind of frustrating to not be so the council president. But why would that, like, make her sad? Maybe Sichune is a very interesting, um, character. We don't know that much about her like we thought we would. That's meaningless. She's anyone would say that, but it's <laughs> ridiculous to think that she would let it go that easily. I mean, there are times when she'll want to fight me over the last apple or uh, a chocolate milk or whatever, but, and that stuff isn't, you know, it doesn't even matter. Chocolate milk is important. Alright, just because you're right and I agree with you doesn't mean you're right. Alright, it is. Don't get mad. <laughs> XSL. Uh, okay, it is. Don't get mad. Uh, but not as much as City Council is to her. She wouldn't just rave it off so easily. <laughs> you're right. I thought this was supposed to be an interrogation, but it appears Misha has already forgotten about it. But, I don't want to try to lie to me, just to make me feel better. Okay, well then, talk to her about it? What am I supposed to do here? Most people don't know how serious Chan is, and think she's just putting on a show, and I'm happy that you understand her, Chan. Yeah, me too? It's obvious, especially with how she talked about it today. Misha leans in close with interest, resting her head on her palms. What is this? Really? What does she say? This music also isn't helping the situation, so I'm trying to figure out what the fuck's gonna happen. They're close enough that I don't think uh, much of how she is prying. Uh, why she joined the city council? Um, sort of. She started it, but then decided that some stuff should just stay classified and uh, signed. It's a secret, so. I guess that's what she told me, it's a secret. <laughs> well, if someone tells you that they have a secret, you can sort of just call that a secret by itself, a channel. Just like how, according to you, luck is a skill. Well, if you play Fallout, you can be, see? She knows, she fucking knows. She laughs. Hey, be careful, not, not so loud. We're in a boy's dorm, right? I'm a classy dude. Why, Chan? You're gonna wake up half the people in the building, and on top of that, dorms aren't go ahead. Hey Chan, are you thinking something dirty? What? I am. I don't know about a cell. Stop being weird. She laughs again. If you are, it's okay. I, th I have so much to say. Okay, I'm back. What the fuck does that mean, Misha? 
Am I about to fuck? Hearing that makes me realize how easy it's been for me to talk to Michelle all the time. That I would be able to go this long without feeling the need to be on guard. Um, it's the first time that I have. I feel sad at Chan. Why? It's funny. The happier Chan gets, the more depressed I feel. Even though I should be happy for Chan, and I still am, but I can't talk about my problems with her. Why not? Just like Hit Chan can't talk about her problems to me, the same thing Hit Chan. If we have that kind of problem, then I'm not sure anymore what I should do. I wonder if I'm a bad friend. Oh, of course not. Don't say that. Whoa. Misha gets up and quickly drops herself on the bed until we're sitting only a few inches apart. Just a couple seconds later, she pushes her head forward and gives me a light kiss. It misses my lips, more due to the bad aim on her part than because of me. What are you doing? Although it's just a formality, I'd be stupid to not know what she's getting at. It's just that I don't know anyone that just kisses somebody in formality. It's just that it seems so unlikely that I'm hoping there would be some way I won't have to deal with it. Now she decides to be shy and giggles, uh, embarrassed. Do you like me, Chan? I, uh, like. You mean like in a weird, like in a weird, not weird, but like in a more deeper way, or like in general, I guess. In general, sure. Yeah. Her head is buried in my chest, and it feels like she's talking into my scarf. She might be able to feel it brushing against her cheek. I tried too hard to hide it from both of them before, and it seems like a, such a dumb thing to have to worry about so much in retrospect. Please comfort me, Hichan, just for today. What? Uh, what is this? Do I go with A, comfort Misha, or B, just outright refuse? I need to try to think about this. Fucking next episode, we'll fucking deal with this. As of now, I need, like, some time to figure this out. So, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like this video and subscribe. Take care, and of course, goodbye.